Hey guys, I am Mr. Crocker and I'm working from home <laughs> because Sam and I are still on quarantine. So this week in math, we are going to be talking about fractions and uh, the best the best place to start with fractions is at the beginning. So today we're going to start with just what a numerator is, a denominator and and what all of those words can mean, okay? So when you see a fraction like this fraction, we would call this fraction three fifths, right? Three and then fifths because it's it's referring to pieces, okay? We have two numbers here. The top number is always called the numerator, the numerator, okay? And the numerator tells us how many pieces are there, how many like present, how many we have, okay? So in this fraction, we have three pieces. The bottom number is called a denominator and the denominator tells you the total pieces. So it's not what you have, it's the whole, it's 100%. It's if all of them were there. Okay, so in this fraction, there were five pieces, we have three. So two of them are gone, okay? So we can draw those, we can draw this fraction as a picture and we can do that a few different ways. So I've got a square here and it's broken into five pieces, okay? And they're equal. It's important that they're equal. They have to be equal for them to be a fraction, okay? So just in case that's not clear, that's the, the bars, those are like pieces, okay? And to show three fifths, we would want three out of five. So it would be like if I colored in or shaded three of the five pieces and two of them were missing. Okay, gone, empty. You can also show it with a set. Okay, so this is a set of five circles. If I wanted to color three fifths, it would look like that, three out of five. Okay, so this works with any fraction. So I'm drawing four sevenths now. So that means that, okay, four sevenths. My numerator is four. That means that we have four pieces. My denominator is seven. That means that to make the whole, there were seven. And I guess I picked seven because seven's a hard number to draw. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give it our best shot here. Okay, so if I've got a square here, sometimes when I'm dividing, drawing these fractions, I, I think half. So seven is like, seven is a piece in the middle, and then I'm going to have to have three on top and bottom. So it'll be like three, six, seven in the middle. Okay. One, two three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's seven pieces and they're pretty even. My drawing's not perfect, but I tried to make them even. I didn't make one piece obviously bigger. Okay, and then to show four sevenths, I would shade one, two, three, four out of seven. Four of the seven pieces are there. That shows four sevenths. Three of them are missing, okay? Now, I could also show this as a set. So that's seven circles. If I color in four of them, that's four sevenths. Both of these pictures are ways to draw four sevenths. Okay, now there are a couple of other things that I want to teach you today about fractions, and that is just what a whole looks like and what they call a unit fraction. Okay, so a whole, like let's say we have a pizza, 
and there are eight slices. That's a pretty normal pizza. It's also easier to draw than seven. <laughs> so uh, hold my, sorry, even numbers. Even numbers are easier usually because you can go by twos. So if I have eight pieces and I want to show a hole, that's just eight out of eight. So that this means 100%. It's all there. Okay. To draw that, I would, I'm going to do a circle this time since it's even. Okay. And to get to even numbers, I always just do half and half and half. Okay. And it kind of doubles. Like it won't go two, four, six. It'll go two, four, eight. So two, four, right? And now we have to keep them even. Remember, that's important. So I can't hit six because six would probably look something like that. And these pieces here are obviously bigger. That's not, that doesn't work. So, so instead I go from two to four to eight. So here I have eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And then my fraction says eight eighths. So that would be when the pizza gets delivered, right? When the pizza gets delivered, the guy hands you the box. You open the box and look inside. You expect to see eight eighths of that pizza. If it's seven eighths, then the delivery guy was hungry. Okay. And again, you know, we can do this with a set. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So of this set, I could say that eight eighths are stars, right? Whereas if I threw in a different one, oh, now only seven eighths are stars because one eighth is a square. Okay. So just to wrap that up, the, the important, oh, I forgot unit fractions. Unit fractions are when you just have one. So one eighth, right? So of this set, one eighth is R squares. If I if I do this, I could say one eighth of my pizza is gone. Okay, that's what a unit fraction is. Just one, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one eighth. Okay, okay. So now I think I'm actually done. I'm gonna just summarize what I told you. Fractions have two parts: a numerator and a denominator. Okay. The numerator is the top number, and the numerator tells you how many pieces you have. Okay, it's the part you're talking about. The denominator tells you the total, all the pieces. If everything was there, there would be eight in this case, right? So numerator's on top, denominator's on bottom. Day one of fractions in the books, yay.